Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unicorn Game Terrain. Guys, welcome back. For all those that are new, this is a painting video. Uh, every week I try and do I do let's build videos and then those let's build videos eventually turn into painting videos from my pile of shame or pile of opportunity. For all my regulars here guys, I feel love. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a second guys. Right, so what am I painting this week, or this video? Primaris Lieutenant. I have to get him done. He's been sitting there annoying the hell at me for, for days now, or for weeks, I say. So it's an absolutely amazing sculpt. I mean, look at that. Absolutely, so much detail on that. I'm really looking forward to going to town on them, on them skulls on his shield and pu uh, purity seals and all that. Um, There's a lot of detail in this model. So this might, I uh, hope it's not a long video, but it, it could be longish. So I do apologise if they eat for you guys, but get your paintbrushes ready. Let's just start work away. Now on my wet palette, as always, I'll show you the wet palette first. At the moment, I only have Retributor Armour, um, Screaming Skull, and Corn Red. Now Corn Red and Screaming Skull are my Space Marine Chapter Colours. Okay. This dude over here, actually, I'll show you, so you get an idea of a, how we, there, so there's the, there's the chapter colours, yeah, <coughs> excuse me, but what I have to do is, with the special with the screaming skull, <coughs> you can hear that banging in the background, that's a, a cow trying to, uh, make himself known. So I need to build up the layers slowly, slowly. So I'm going to start with the corn red. And then I'm going to do this arm. Yeah. And then I'm going to do that arm with the screaming skull. And then I'm going to go off camera and do the rest. So yeah, there's not a big mad rush on seeing what I'm doing. Now these colours usually take two coats or two thin coats, I'll say to give me a nice even consistency that I like. And what happens is uh from time to time, place to place, there's there'll be a few bits that need to a little bit more of a, a coat on it. So there's the start of it. I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to just give it all a quick once over. Probably give it two coats. 
and come back to you and it should have the base colors of the chapter on it okay guys right so here we are guys okay now as you can see on this little chest piece there it needs another little touch up of screwy skull but that's not the end of the world i'll do that at the end there might be a few other little pieces as i was turning them around that you see that oh that looks a bit blotchy there or looks a bit like here for example but i'll do that at the end and what i'll do the last coat because there's two coats or two thin coats already but what i do with the last coat is i water it down a little bit okay so it's so it's not a proper coat but it's just so yeah that color scheme on the space marines is absolutely fantastic but it's a pain in the ass to do but it is an absolutely fantastic Right, so what I'm going to do now is all the little bits in between all the silver work that I can see, I'm going to do. So for that, I'm going to for some lead belcher air, or some lead belcher, but the airbrush version. Let's give this a little. Like dropping the model again. I keep dropping models. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm going to get in there with a nice, nice thin coat. Enough to take the black away. Some of you would notice I haven't done the helmet, okay? Because I'm not sure if to paint the helmet in chapter colours or to paint the helmet a totally different colour because like he's a hero. I'm still deciding on that because I did my Terminators before and I just painted them um, just on their helmet's normal colour. So it's not a... But... If I was going to do, um, say I was going to paint the helmet white because it's a retro noise or something like that, I would then probably grey sear the undercoat of black and then grey sear the, the helmet, and only the helmet. Wow, there's some, some amount of silver on here to do. Yeah, and do the legs as well, and um, such a much, so much detail in this model, it's amazing. I'm going to get on with that silver and I'll be back to you in a minute, guys. Right, so here we are. I've done all the silver work on him. Okay, so he's gun. No, it doesn't. Yeah, there we go. He's all in, in between there. The handle, the shield. The knee pads and stuff. The knee pads and this shoulder pad, I'm unsure on. Because I just, I don't know if it's going to be too much gold saturated in place or not. Um, then the hilt of his sword. Just in between, behind the legs there. Okay, now this one I noticed it when I was doing it. I have I need to get when I get into screaming skull, I need to get a bit closer to the to the first thing I'm gonna do now is get some rhinox hide and start doing the leather bits. Now I forgot to mention this ages ago actually. When I put this model together on the let's build, the gun pouch here, I actually got the sanding the uh, sanding sponge. And gave this a rough up, roughed it up really, really well because I was hoping when it comes to the painting stage and I dry brush it, that pick it up, but I don't think it will. I just thought I'd share that with you in case it does and you go, oh wow, how did you do that? That's that's what I did then. Just give it a little rough up with the sanding stone. With the sanding sponge, sorry, sanding stone, I don't know. We would take a sanding stone to the model.
as you see on the back. You have to be very careful here not to hit the screaming skull. Because that will be, not be the end of the world, but it will just be means I have to just go back over again. So there's so much space on this model that I could paint gold, but I don't want to over saturate with gold. A little bit on the middle of the back here, the shoulder pads, the arm bracer. These are quitters going to be gold. The relics hanging off of him here. Uh, Halo in the back. Mm. Something to, some things to think about there. Right, do I decide what I'm going to do with those bits and pieces? What I do know is the um, quitter on his chest is going to be Retributor Armour. Very, very careful here. So I think what I'm going to do is do bit by bit. So if I add gold here, add gold there, start seeing if it's if it's uh, if it's okay or is it too much. If it's too much, I don't know what colour to go with. I know for sure this is going to be gold. There's no thinking about that. <laughs> That's nice and simple. And then I'm going to do that gold. These relics are going to be gold. I know that 100%. Yeah, I can do it. Right. So I did the gold. There's a lot of, well, bet you be around, but there's a lot of gold on him. Look, the, I don't with the knee pads at the end. I missed a little tiny bit. I can see it now. So I'm going to skull. Which is not much. I'll go back over there. Knee pad, Aquila. Bits of relics on him, the, his halo needs a little bit more. Shield. Now the easiest way to do the shield is... Missed a bit there. The easiest way to do the shield is to edge highlight it. It's to come in like an edge highlight, yeah? And as you're as you're doing that, you're you're hitting most of the bits you need to hit. And the reason I've done the gold on this shield first, instead of just doing doing it after, is because if I miss any bits, so get on here, I can easily cover that over with a uh, color afterwards. Here's the back of the shield. Making sure I don't miss anything. A lot, there's a lot on here to do, but you don't have to do it gold. I, I, I ended up doing bit by bit, and then uh, I saw okay, this bit looks okay, let's go to this bit, let's go to that bit. Let's go a bit fronting just to give a bit more color on you. It's going to be washed down afterwards, but it's, I want it to be. I want it to really stand out. But again, look, we've done the gold. 
one, especially on this halo here. Yeah, it looks a bit wanting. So I've done one coat, so now I'll just go over and do another coat. But the second coat can be selective. So I can go here and there and just try and get the little funny little bits that it's just I've missed or it's gonna be a little bit weird on. You, you eagle eye people would have gone, hold on, on, you haven't told us a wet palette. Usually you always show us a wet palette at the beginning. Now there's a reason for that. And I'm going to cover that in the weekly Wednesday. Uh, I'll stand his shoulders and his, the same thing. His shoulder and his bracer. It looks like it needs a little bit more in there. It's looking good so far, I think. All right, so the gold's been touched off a little bit more. Okay, so now we're going to go with some Calador Sky. A little bit out on the brush. And I'm going to put all the inside parts here. I've just noticed there's a key on this shield there that I missed. Right, so there's the shield. I had to just go off and just go around the gold a little bit more and just tidy up a little bit because I think the, I did the Calador score Sky here, Calador Sky here on the back, and I thought that actually looks pretty good. So now I did it the other side because I was humming an hour in between uh, blue here and then the polished blue metallic there. So now I'm going to go with some Negra from Night. Get this this robes in front of him painted up. Right, so that's had a Negroth Knight on it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going for Corex White, is that? Yeah, Corex White. And what I'm going to do is wear that down a little bit. And I'm going to paint it on here, on the, the Vulcan Whatever the gun's called, Volkrite gun, Volkrite pistol, is it? A bit too much. I made it a bit too watery there.
still missed a bit I was trying to get into. Missed it. Right, so the Corax white on all the purity seals, on, on the sorry, the cloth of the purity seals, on his head as well, his head Corax white. I actually messed up and got one eye by accident. I was like, you know what, just do both eyes, doesn't matter. I'll go with the green afterwards on the shield as well. Okay. Now, I'm going to, I'm thinking of, let's sort his gun out first. So for his gun, I'm going to go with this color. Okay, make right red or yeah, make right red. I'm not putting this on the wet palette. Or should I? Actually, I'm going to put a little bit on the wet palette here because I need to be watered down. It's the same colour that I used. It's a foundation paint, very old paint. Well, not very old, but it's old. And I use it to make blood effects because it makes brilliant blood effects and I can actually just wash it into here to his gun may not be strong enough for what I need but hopefully it is it's still this tiny little bit it's just, it's just can't seem to get to right there we go Okay, just a little bit more into that corner down there. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Right, I've got some Warlock Purple, which is another very old paint on my wet palette. And I'm going to literally just try and edge highlight as much as I can this cloak just want to get the, the raised areas only add it a nice little purpley pinkish to it In a little bit pinky at the moment but it will blend in and become Yeah. 
and when that dries I can always go over it a little bit more just to bring up a little bit more now we're going to go with some Lofham Blue and I'm going to very I'm probably going to do one on camera and then just go off and do the rest of them because this is very very fine work I got a little bit of paint on the brush and it wasn't enough to even Yeah. I'm gonna go up and do the rest of this. That's it, see how fiddly that is. So what I'm gonna do now, because that's a power node, I'm gonna take a bit of water with the Loft Herm Lof Blue on the palette. And I'm going to water it right down. And then what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to take it it's very thin and I'm going to run it alongside just around give me like a lighting type effect okay this is very very thin down this it's almost a wash if you want Yeah, now as that starts to dry, let's do a few little brush stroke bits up here. As that starts to dry, it's going to look amazing. Yeah. I've also gone over the purity seals, just missed a bit there. Because I, I, I do think the purity seals look so much better when they're a big, bright, bold colour. Look at my chest, it's such, a, such an amazing bold colour. Now, now I'm going to come in with some Aphosian camo shade. And what we're going to do is going to wash down all this gold. Give it a proper wash down. Just using the wrong brush. Should be using the old brush. That's a bit better. And I'm just slapping it on there, but I don't want to. I don't want it pulling in one area and just looking horrible. So I want to wax some on. They get into the recesses, all the gold. So this takes the shiny, shiny off of it. Now this is going to be the tricky part. So we can see the shoulder and the, the, the arm guard Let's get on the shoulder there. This is the arm guard. After this stage, you could, if you wanted to, 
you could dry brush it with the gold again here and there. What we're also going to do is we're going to give this a little dab on the purity seals to dull them down so they're not crispy cream white. The outside here, oh, that should be good. So then this should just go all the way around roughly because there's a little divot just in the shield there. And then collecting the recess and make it just really pop again. Give all the silver a little once over in the joins just to pop them off again. with the sword, top of the sword, and there, just along here. I'm going to give his weapon a blast, but I need to miss that middle part where I've done the, the red work on it. You see that now? It's starting to really just look nice. Nicely. Right, so I went over with some uh, human skull, just tied up some of the armor, then the skulls. Okay, some of the people are going to say, What about the sword? I'm leaving the, the sheath of the sword like that, or should I do it right outside? Mm, I don't know. I'm going to leave that for a minute. Okay, check on below and tell me what you think, but I just thought. I thought that would be fine. Anyway, I'll just scream his skull now. And I'm dry brushing the lever. To the back here, give it a little one safer. That's too much. Back in there. It's a layer paint, so it will dull down. Yeah. Let's go on to the, the next. What I'm going to take now is a little bit of. A little bit of um, the uh, white scars white, and I'm going to give the gun a gentle dry brush across the top, just to get those raised areas. That scar's white. I'm just going to touch up the helmet a little bit.
with the little crest on his head. Normally I paint them some bizarre mad colour. And if you can see what I've done there, I've only come across the top here. So I've left the edges and everything else a lot darker. I mean, this might look great, may not, I don't know about the helmet. I was going to wash it down with some, um, some sort of, uh, what are we talking about, Michael and Flesh shake, and then, then bring it up with the white butt since I did against it. Give it a go, hopefully done again. Just going to gently give the skulls a little touch up. Now that would be finished. There's one more thing I want to do. And let's take a little bit of Warlock Purple and just come, if we zoom in, just come over here. There's, sorry, there's one more thing I need to do again afterwards. And that's the, uh, the eye sockets. Oh, fuck. Yeah, sorry about that. I was just disturbed. Someone came in. I told them, "Give me one minute. I'm filming," and they just carried on side trying to talk to me. Yeah, so we go into the eye socket. Now, for me at this stage, it doesn't matter if I just overshoot the eye socket a little bit. Because what happens is, as that doubles down, it will give you like a sort of glow effect around the eyes. Yeah. Now, see, I'm not sure about the white helmet, guys. He's a hero, so you guys just let me know what you think. As you always do. Um, I think that's everything now. So, guys, if you've liked this video, I'll give you some pretty pictures in a second if you like this video please like share, subscribe turn on your notifications and if the video is a long video i do apologize but you know get your paintbrushes ready and i'll see you next time